everybody and welcome to Healthy Cooking with Shayla. I'm here in my kitchen and we are about to go live. Actually, we are live. Hopefully you can uh, see us and hear us. And today I'm going to make, um, I'm calling it my summer beat it salad. <laughs> and I'm finally, finally here with my dear friend, Erin. Hi guys. Yes, indeed. It's really good to have you back, Erin. And um, I know we've all been in self-quarantine. We are still keeping our distance. We are still wearing face masks. I know Erin has hers on. And um, I, I was thinking actually about putting one on and talking to you guys, but we've got enough distance between me and Erin that she feels comfortable and I feel comfortable. So we're good, right? We okay. are good. We are good. So Glad to be back. Yes. And... Um, the reason this, how the salad came about is because the weather's getting really hot here and when the weather's really warm, I tend to eat a lot of, you know, a lot of raw, a lot of raw salads and stuff. And um, I love colorful stuff, so what I wanted to show you guys is I've already gone ahead and chopped up purple cabbage, green cabbage, I've spiralized some carrots and I've grated some yellow squash and actually some apples because the apples is what's going to give the sweetness to the salad. But the star of this show is going to be the actual beets. But I want to show you guys a few different methods of cutting and shredding and different tools that you guys can use. This is a hand mandolin and it's for shredding and it's got different um, numbers on here so it it talks you know you can do different thicknesses and it's really 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 super easy um, I just want to show you guys it's really easy to shred you know whether you're doing zucchini you're doing yellow squash you're doing you know just about anything and and how hard was that I mean look at that it's actually super easy yeah. You know? Nice. Uh, even Erin can do it. <laughs> <laughs> even I could do it. That is true. Well, no, even Erin's husband or any anybody can do it. It's, it's really easy. The only thing is, guys, you're going to have... These are really sharp. You're going to have to be careful uh, yeah. when you're doing this that you don't cut up, cut up your hand. And I have actually cut my thumb several, several times, and it really hurts. So just when you're doing this, just, you know, be careful that, and I've got gloves. Um, I've got those wired gloves that, you know, you, they're, they're for cutting and all that. So um, do we have any questions or anything? Got or? people on. Christy says, hi, beautiful. Hi, Christy. We, we got, love Christy we, Clark. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and we, um, earlier tonight, we were talking to Christy Clark because I am trying to see if um, I can start doing the Facebook lives and instead of doing them on Facebook because Facebook doesn't always connect us all very well and sometimes it cuts us out. So I'm looking into doing it on YouTube. So tonight, Aaron and I, we were testing and Christy happened to come on and I'm like, okay, we got to call her and, <laughs> and tell her what we're doing because, you know, we were just testing the system out. So now I'm going to do a green apple. Again, just be very careful when you're doing this so that you don't cut your hand. And with this salad, you know, I, I was telling Erin earlier tonight, I really don't have any measurements because every time I make it, I make it different and I just throw different things in here. So it's really what you guys like. And I think it's fun in salads to have different textures. Yeah. You know, right? I don't, I, I don't think you need to always have the same texture in here. It's fun to mix it up and have different things. So, so that's it. And then immediately lock this. Make mm -hmm. sure that you're, if you're not going to use it, lock it up. And so puts the blade away. That, yes. You want to lock it because uh, the last thing you want to do is to cut up your hand. I actually cut my hand on one of those mandolins, putting it away in the box. It was painful. 
so it wasn't locked? It did not have a lock on it, a lock feature. Okay, so when you're doing apples, and if you're not going to eat it right away, make sure you put some lemon juice on top of it so that the apples will stay nice and green. They're not going to turn brown on you. That's a good trick. Right? So you want to make sure you do that. So Sunny, Sunny says, hi from Temecula. Hi, Sunny. Um, Shireen says, Shireen. hello, what's hi, the Shireen tool? Hi, June. What's the tool? So this is a handheld progressive um, handheld mandolin that does all the shredding. If you go to, if you type in healthy cooking with Shada Amazon favorites, my um, Amazon affiliate page will come up. And I do have something similar to this on my page. Actually, you can find that there. You can find this next product that we're going to use. Um, so you, you might want to check that out. Gustavo's on. Hi, Says, Gustavo. Hello, Shada. Hi, Gustavo. It's been a long time, Gustavo, <laughs> since I've spoken to you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do, I'm going to put this away okay. for right now. And I want to show you guys, and I've shown this to you guys before. This is the Bella um, Spiralizer. And I really love it because it is automatic. You just, you know, put everything in there and then you push a button and voila, it, it does it for you. I have the old hand crank one, but this is so much easier. And again, you can find this on my Amazon affiliated favorite page. Um, it's there and I think... I don't remember the price. I want to say $39, $49. I don't remember. Affordable. It, yeah, it's pretty affordable. And, it, and if you want the other kind, the hand crank, listen, that's going to work just as fine. If you find something even cheaper than that that can do the spiralizer, that works just as fine. This just happens to be what I like and what I got, and I'm happy with it. So, like I said, the star of the show are beets. And we're gonna do two different kinds of beets. This is the red beet, okay. and which I'm sure everybody is familiar, and it's completely raw. I haven't cooked it. And that's how we're gonna eat it. And this is the golden beet. And I don't know if many of you have tried it. If you have, it is absolutely delicious. Now the golden beet is not as sweet as the red beet. Have you tried the golden beet, Erin? Yeah. Did yeah. you like I, it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like them both. Yeah, they're both really tasty. So we're going to start with the golden beet because the red is going to stain this, and I don't want the colors to to get in here. So we're going to put this in the back of it. Okay. This is going to go in the middle. It takes a little muscle. You're going to lock this up. And Erin, I don't know if you want to come on this side. But look how fun that is. <laughs> That's pretty. So this will go to a certain point. It's not going to go all the way through. And that's okay. There's no problem with that. So we're going to take this. And see, it comes out like these spaghetti. Pretty. Right? I think it's so, <laughs> I just think it's so pretty. And it makes our salads look so pretty. I try to get it as much as I can out of this. So what I what do I do with this? I keep this and I chop it up and then I steam it and then I have it for lunch or dinner or I'll toss it in my salad. I do not throw this away. So we're gonna keep it. We're gonna do another beet because one beet is not enough. <laughs> yes. But we're still live, okay. Yeah, we're still live. <laughs> So Deborah wants to know what's the best way to clean beets. You're gonna to have to wash it and kind of peel it a little bit. And um, 
like you know you're gonna you we're not gonna we're not gonna eat this part but you're gonna cut all this part out but for right now you want it because you kind of want something to go in there and now we're gonna do the red see how the red is staining that's why I, <laughs> that's why i wanted to do um that last yeah, I wanted to do the red last, but I just see, look at this color. Beautiful. Right? Isn't this fun? So Colleen says that looks easy. It's super easy, Colleen. Super easy. Nothing has to be complicated. Linda says that is so much easier than my hand crank spiralizer. It really is. It really is. And if you want, and I should have done this with the golden bead, cut cut the end off a little bit. I, I didn't do it. But put this in. So we've got Karen says, hi from Florida. Hi. Boy, it's late in Florida right now. Yeah. It's late. All right, so you see how the, the, red, the red made kind of a mess? Yeah. So that's why I wanted to do... Um, I wanted to do the golden beak first. Do you guys, um, okay, so when I was a kid, do you guys remember the, the you remember the red vine licorice? Yeah. <laughs> We're not eating that, but doesn't this remind you? <laughs> yeah, doesn't now that you say it. Right? Oh, funny. It does, it kind of, because it's such a beautiful color. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna take this out. We're gonna steam all that. Whatever's left, because nothing's gonna go to waste. So that's the end of that. And I like this spiralizer because it does have this locking mechanism so you don't hurt yourself or cut yourself or yeah. anything like so that. So the Bella. Right. So then you know, it's not easy to eat big strands like this, mm -hmm. right? God, look at the colors. I just so I, pretty, right? I mean, who doesn't want to eat a salad looking like this? So what I do is I take my knife and I'm just going to cut it because I want to have, you know, bite size pieces. Yeah, I'm not going to chop it up fine. That's not my intent but I don't want to have big pieces either. So I think my bowl is too small. What do you think? <laughs> what I do is I mix all this together. So let me get a bigger bowl. Okay. Um, let me wash my hands just really quick. Gosh, and get a, big, a bigger bowl for you guys to put all this in there. So I got Shada, another Shada says, Oh, that's the one. So I don't know if you're talking about the spiralizer or the, what's the other, the progressive gadget? Oh, the uh, hand, hand, the hand one? Yeah. Okay. How cool. Are the beets raw, asks Sunny. Uh, yes, yes, they so are. The beets are raw. So we've got a big bowl in okay. this Tupperware. And I'm going to put all this in there. All right. Because it'll be easier for me to mix everything, but earlier for the presentation. All right, so we don't need the knife anymore. Now we're going to add the beets in here. So Susan says, so pretty, those beet noodles. Look. I've always said we eat with our eyes and if the food doesn't look good if it's not appetizing if it's not colorful um nobody wants to eat it even if yeah. it's a salad salads don't have to be boring you guys so we're gonna mix all this so colleen says i love raw beets they're so good for you they're extremely nutritious and they're so good for you and you really should vary um, you should eat the golden beets. You should eat the, the red beets. Deb says, wow, that gadget looks amazing. I'll put a link to the gadget so that you guys can go at least check it out. You know? 
So Sandra said, sorry, just Zoom. Did she so make the, the no, golden beets noodles? Yeah, so right now we have no dressing on this and it's absolutely, the only thing that's on here is a little bit of a lemon juice that, um, that I put on top of the apples. And I suggest wearing gloves when you do this because it does stain your hand <laughs> and it's better that it stains, you know, the gloves. So. Aaron got me this spice. It's called the Bohemian Forest. It is salt free. It's from Savory Spice and they're online, but in, they are local in some areas. Um, and what's in here is crushed brown mustard seed, garlic, rosemary, black pepper, Mediterranean thyme, savory, parsley, lavender, and sage. And I got to tell you, she got me hooked on this. I put this on everything now. <laughs> everything and we're going to put it we're going to mix it with this salad and Aaron's going to ask me how much and I know <laughs> somebody's going to ask me how much and that's how much I, I, I put in there. To taste. To taste. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to add is white balsamic vinegar. Now I bought this from Trader Joe's and I like the white because I don't want to do the regular balsamic because it's going to add a different color in here and I want to see the color of the vegetables that are already in there. Mm -hmm. So, oh, we have to see, it's brand new, we just opened it. Mm. So we're going to add white balsamic in here. To taste. To taste. <laughs> see, Aaron's learning. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're also going to add apple cider vinegar. Now, why am I add, adding apple cider vinegar? Because first, uh, Michael Greger, Dr. Greger said that it's really good for us and it's nice, but I also want to ferment this. So the longer that this sits with this dressing, it's gonna start fermenting a little bit, which is really great. And you, when you buy the apple cider, make sure you buy Bragg's Organic with the mother. Make sure you get, you get the good kind. Okay. And you wanna shake it up. And you're gonna, um, yeah, pour it to taste, right? And then, because we have our gloves on, this is the best way of mixing the salad. And yes, I do have really nice utensils that I could probably use to mix this, but I find that when I do it by hand, I don't know, I really, it's, it's nice, you know? And look at this, because I used the white balsamic, the color, mm. you can see the color beautifully through this. It smells good. It smells good, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to pour this back into our bowl because I want everybody to see it. Um, let me just rinse my hands one more time. We'll rinse my glove. in here. Now doesn't this salad look good? Mm-hmm. At least I think it does. Yeah, it's really good. And again, this salad will keep for a couple of days, if not longer, but the way mom and I eat this really quickly, um, <laughs> We're, we're usually done within like probably about three days or something, but it is really nice. It's very tasty. So what are you going to eat this salad with? Well, you could add beans to this. You could add garbanzos, black beans, kidney beans, whatever beans you want. You could do brown rice. You could do millet. You could do wild rice. You could do white rice. You could do... You could put some of this on top of uh, the potatoes. And so here's a little bit of the dressing that's left. We're going to pour that on top. Beautiful. And there you go. So that's the salad. What do you think? Beautiful. Do it. Does anybody have any questions regarding the salad? Susan says, hi from True North in Santa Rosa. Hi, Susan. How are you doing? Nancy says, I didn't know you could eat a raw beet. 
Absolutely, you can eat a raw beet, and it's absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now, what I made for tonight is wild rice. So we're going to eat this tonight with the wild rice. And I want to share with you guys, this is the wild rice that I get from Trader Joe's. It is a 16 ounce bag. And I'm going to show you guys, teach you guys how I make this in the Instant Pot. So I take this whole bag and I rinse it really, really well. Once I've rinsed it, I put it in the Instant Pot and I add four cups of water to the Instant Pot. Now, my Instant Pot has a function that says multi-grain. And I push the button, multi, I close the lid, close the seal, and I push the button that says multi-grain, and I walk away. It takes about, it takes probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes or eight minutes for the pressure to come up, and then it's gonna start counting down 40 minutes. Once the pressure, once it's cooked at 40 minutes, you want to let the pressure come down naturally. You do not want to open up and release it. You want to let the pressure come down naturally, which will take, I usually let it go down for about 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes. And then you get this beautiful brown rice that's ready to go. All these phone calls all of a sudden, <laughs> you know. So this is what our plate this is what our plate tonight's gonna look like. So we're gonna take, now you can mix this with, you can mix it with the salad, or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the bottom. And then, then I'm gonna take this and put it on top. And nice. call it, right? And that, <laughs> my friend, is going to be dinner tonight. Or it could be lunch tomorrow. So Beautiful. what do you guys think? Sounds good. Right? So Colleen wants to know the name of the tool. So it was Bella. Of what? The spiralizer? Um, she doesn't say, but there's the spiralizer was Bella. The spiralizer is by Bella, B-E-L-L-A. And again, I got it on Amazon. So again, you could go check it out on my Amazon affiliate page, my favorite page. Um, so that's on there. And then I also have the progressive handheld one, which does a lot of the julienne. And I like the handheld one instead of a big mandolin just because it's quick and easy and I can do stuff with it. Um, but so those were the two gadgets that we really used for so, tonight's Shada says I have never had raw beets so well, you'll have to I try think, that I think it's time <laughs> that we all try it because honestly it's absolutely delicious oh, Linda says it's nice that you have a partner in crime with you tonight Shada hi Erin I know <laughs> Hi, I, Linda. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, I really, really, really miss not having Aaron here. And mm -hmm. even though I know that I can do the Facebook Lives by myself, it is not fun. It is just absolutely not fun. And it's just really nice to have Aaron back. And so that way, you know, we can talk and she can also read me your questions and tell us, you know, <laughs> what's, what's going on. But so you have inspired Dev. She said she is going to try beets for the first time now. I am so excited. Dev, let me know what, what you think. Honestly, guys, beets are really good for you. They're good for our heart. It's highly nutritious. You can eat it raw. You can eat it steamed. And then, like I said, I'm going to take these beautiful beets that we still have left, and I'm going to chop them up, and I'm going to steam it and have it for probably tomorrow. Um, you'll see a post on my Instagram and you'll see that I've cooked those up and I'm eating it because why let it go to waste? There's just no use. So I want to share something with you guys. I'm in the process of um, creating my website and so that should be coming out hopefully in about a month, month and a half from now. So I'm in the process of that because I want to get newsletters out to you guys and let you guys know when, the, uh, when we have classes like this or um, Facebooks. We are going to start moving this format to YouTube. So if you have not signed up 
or subscribe for my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button. Um, so that way you guys will get notification as to when Aaron and I are going to be live. That will start in about two weeks because between my full-time job and this, um, it's easier for Aaron and I to do this every two weeks, right? Yeah. I, I, ju I just can't do it every week. So we're gonna start doing that. We're gonna start going live again on YouTube under my channel, Healthy Cooking with Shada. And um, I will make posts on Facebook to let you guys know. And if you ever miss the, uh, the live show, you guys all know that you can always go and catch the replay. Mm -hmm. So any other questions? So Kathy wants to know, does the spiralizer come apart to wash? Does it come what? Apart, so you can oh, wash absolutely. it. Absolutely. So what's going to happen is we're going to take this out, and then we're going to wash it, and uh, we can wash all this. That's that's yeah. not a problem. It's trust me. I don't like <laughs> hard gadgets, and I'm really picky about what I buy and stuff. So, and I think there's a button right here on the side. It releases it. Yeah. Elva says hello, ladies. Look, so that just comes out. We're going nice. to wash it, and we're going to wash everything else out. Elva! I miss my <laughs> Elva. Remember the miss days Elva. of you, me, Elva, all of I us know. in the kitchen together? So hopefully that's going to happen soon. We'll get Elva back in here and, um, so and get the party going. Susan posted the link for the savory spice. So thank, thank you, you, Susan. Thank you, for posting that. You guys, it's uh, Bohemian Spice again. So Kathy wants to know what could you use if you don't have Bohemian? If you don't, you can put any of your spices that you like. You could put the coriander, you could put parsley, you could put your sage, you could put your black pepper, your garlic. Yeah. All these in individual spices that are in here, you could actually, you know, because it's got um, the mustard seed, garlic, rose. So you could put your rosemary, your black pepper, your thyme, um, parsley, lavender, and sage. So you yeah. can put those in yourself. You don't, you know, if you don't have this, if this is easier, it makes life a lot easier to put this in. But if you don't have it, absolutely, just um, go ahead and put in what you have. But thank you, Susan, for posting the link to Savory for the Bohemian Spice. I really appreciate it. And Eileni, I don't Eileni know if I, Eileni? they say your name right. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful and colorful, Shade of June. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Nancy. You know, I get a lot of, it's really cute. I get a lot of comments um, from you guys that say that my food is always so colorful. Hmm. And that's because I love color and the food has to be enticing. And to me, this is not boring. This is inviting, you mm -hmm. know, and, and I like that. So, so, yeah, I try, I try. And honestly, I tried tonight, I tried to make a small salad. Yeah, it didn't work. It's <laughs> like all of a sudden my food just like explodes, you know, it gets, there's enough here to feed probably about 20 people, but. Nancy says, you are making me hungry. Come on over. Come on over. Shada Nancy. says, it looks fabulous. Thank you, Isa. Um, Shireen? Shireen. Shireen says, sorry, I missed the first part. What is the vinegar and does it have oil in it? No, absolutely no. So for those of you that are new to my channel, uh, everything I make is salt, oil, and sugar free. So there, well, I haven't used oil in almost nine years. Um, you will not find oil in this house. The vinegar that I used was apple cider vinegar and just plain white balsamic vinegar. Now, if you don't have white balsamic vinegar, it's okay. You can use the other balsamic vinegar. You could even use flavored vinegar, but I just don't want the dark vinegar on here because the color starts to change a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I just want to see the beautiful colors of the vegetables in their raw form, so that's why. So May wants to know how long can it be stored in the fridge? Honestly, for about three to four days. Yeah. But it might be even a little bit longer because we do have a lot of the cruciferous vegetables in here. Yeah. So it might go a little bit longer, but because of the apple and the zucchini, I don't know. I would say four days max, but maybe you could push it to five. But you're supposed to be eating a large salad every single day. So this so salad... shouldn't last too long. All right. should, yeah, you should be able to finish it within... And again, you control the amount. Like I said, there is really no measurement for this. Um, I made a bigger batch tonight just because, you know, it's going to be for me, my mom, and Aaron. So um, 
But you could do just one bead, one zucchini, one squash, one apple. You don't, you know, you don't have to do as much as I did. So Karen wants to know if you could list the veggies you used again. Oh, absolutely. So what's in here? We've got a, um, we've got a red beet. We've got a golden beet. We've got a green apple. We've got a zucchini. We have a yellow squash and we have carrots. And then we have purple cabbage and we have green cabbage. Now, one thing that you could add that I didn't do tonight is add um, red onions to this. I think red onions would be absolutely delicious, but I did not have a red onion and I'm not gonna go to the store, especially during this pandemic, I'm not gonna go to the store just for one onion. So I basically used what I have in the kitchen. Orly says, hi, Shada. Salad looks hi, good. Hi, Orly. Okay, so Orly <laughs> lives down the street. <laughs> Orly lives a mile away from me. She should actually come over and have dinner with us tonight. So, Shireen, I, can't, yes. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. No, saying I love right. that. I have the rice. Totally making this. Nice. Oh, that's sweet. Please, if you guys make this, please post it. I would love to see it. Um, sorry, there's a lot of messages. So you just listed the vegetables. Jean asked what vegetables were in there, but you just said that. And, and if you guys go to the show notes, um, we're going to be posting this on YouTube. If you go to the notes on YouTube, I will list all the ingredients and approximate measures. Now, I can't, I can't give you measurements on the, on the dressing part, like on the vinegar part, because I literally, you guys saw me, I just poured it on there. Um, but because it's really to taste is what, it's what you guys like. Yeah. But the, the, the ingredients will be posted on YouTube, absolutely. So Colleen wants to know how they can find your affiliate page. So if you type in Healthy Cooking with Shada oh. Amazon Favorites, it should come up. And or, then I think Jean just posted the link here. Oh, thank you. And if you also go to Healthy Cooking with Shada Facebook page, uh, the Amazon affiliate is pinned to the top of the page under post it is pinned to the top so that's where you also see it so two mm -hmm. places and then jane also posted your youtube uh, so awesome thank you, jane. jane thank you so much so trying to see if there's any more questions lots of comments tonight I, i'm excited <laughs> so many people are on and for you east coast people i really cannot thank you enough for because i know it's late over there and thank you so much for um staying with us so Karen wants to know, would California balsamic lemon balsamic be good on the salad? Absolutely. Sure. It will be delicious. And in fact, um, their lemon would be great and their plain white balsamic that they have would be absolutely delicious. So yes, California balsamics is the bomb. If you do decide to order from California balsamics in the comment section, please make sure to put my name in there because then you will get two free samples of your choice that will be sent with to you with your order of what you're um, ordering or purchasing. So there's lots of highs and it looks delicious, but is there any other questions for Shada? Because if not, I know some of you is late and we're just gonna, no? Nope. Okay, well, if there's no more questions, here it is again. And I hope you guys that you guys will try this and you will let me know um, how you liked it. And again, it's been a pleasure having you guys. You know, we're back. We're back to doing <laughs> Facebook Lives, or I'm going to say Yay! YouTube Lives. We're going to be going to that format. So thank you again for all your support. And we'll see you guys in two weeks. Stay safe. Just remember, it's one bite at a time and one meal at a time. So we'll see you later. Take care. Have a good night.